Hello, my name is Bright, but recently I'm not that bright. <laughs> <laughs> um, after hearing what Sharon say, you say the dream uh, help you to open your heart, your mind. But you know, actually, right now I feel the opposite. In the very beginning of doing the dream girl, I, I feel myself very happy person. I'm very open-minded, and I don't. I'm not afraid of like sharing my dream because I think there's no secret. Just why not share it? But now I, I feel I changed. I have. I know. I now I feel I have. I'm become the person with more secrets inside me. And uh, honestly, I start to worry about that. That's because because I think that I, I, I'm, I'm a different person. I want to hide something. And why do I want to hide something? I, I don't know. Yeah. And actually, I don't know. And today or recently, I haven't shared my my dream for a while. And maybe part of the part of the uh, one of the reason is because um I become more reserved, not as open as before. That is the one I don't want to be. And and also I feel recently I've become the slow person. I feel I'm stupid, I'm not smart as before. I'm quite sad about that. And the and um, and today when I come here on the way to the dream group, actually I don't I don't have a dream for today, but I'm still happy to come here. That's because I think people, as I said before, we share the com commonality, common thing, and a different thing. Even though I don't have my dream to share, but hearing what other people say, I can still get a idea or get a excitement from them. And, and I hope, you know, I don't know how to say, but I, I feel it's very, you know, the life is, is so, so strange. You know, the person can, um, the person can be like in the very beginning very conservative and then become so open-minded. But I'm the opposite, and I and I hope that maybe through a dream, sharing a dream, I hope I can find find myself back like before. That's it. Bright, can I ask a question? Yes. Now, Bright, when you came here before, yeah. you were not in a PhD program. Yeah. Now, I, I went through a PhD program, too. Uh-huh. And I know what it did to me. So I'm just asking you, and you said before, you everybody looked at you, and they know you're very smart. Everywhere you go, you devise new systems and everything. Uh-huh. Have new programs, all kinds of things. You travel all over the world doing your work. And now, you go in, into a PhD program, and you come and tell us that you're stupid, you're not smart. <laughs> you know, I just wonder, who's stupid, you or the PhD program? If they make you feel stupid, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. I don't know if that's a leading question or a wrong question or something, but do you, do you want to say anything? About a PhD program? About, about. About myself? Why? Uh... Okay, maybe um, before I am full of energy, I'm not afraid of something. I think everything is possible. If I want to do that, I think it's possible. If I can make effort. But now I worry more things. I worry on the system. Maybe I should be more low key. I cannot be too, too show off. And I need to hide something, you know. It's in a you know, in a in a group, and if I hide or if, if I follow to do the, the the system way, I feel I'm not stretch out. Or if I broke the I break the rule, I do my own way. It seems that I feel.
myself is more selfish because I don't think about the others. Does anyone else have a question? I, I think you're pretty good. I, I, if you just do it your way. I have an answer for that. I'll give her the answer. She doesn't have a question, she has an answer. Come on, give her the answer. Do you want to say it? No. You, you, just say it, just say that because your voice is on the camera. Yeah, I think I, I have the same problem. Let me turn around recently. Uh -huh. let, me, let me film you. Just it's okay. Keep talking. Keep talking. I'm going to turn around. <laughs> oh, she's going to come over there. Okay. I think uh, I think the reason that we came to we come to the dream group uh, is never just coincidental. There, sometimes you just feel people resonate, people who who have the same problem. And uh, recently, it happened to be the darkest time of my life that I have never felt so afraid of being complimented or praised and uh, because I I also feel that I'm different from my colleagues in many different ways in the way we deal with things uh, and in the efficiency effectiveness but then yesterday I was watering the garden in my house and then I saw there were so many different kind of flowers and some of the flowers were actually uh, plucked <laughs> from, from other farms <laughs> and then my mom just planted them all together in one small garden and then I look at the flowers and I thought there's so many beautiful flowers now every one of them is different. There are the roses as big or bigger than my feast. And they look so beautiful. And there are some uh, cactus. They are not really pretty looking flowers, but they look wonderfully like, juicy. I don't know, <laughs> for some reason. And then I just, and at that moment I just realized we don't need to be other people. We just need to be ourselves and keep booming. And, and we attract attention. And it's not like we want to attract people's attention, but being yourself is such a beautiful thing. And you know, you don't need to be other people because we are different. Is that okay? <laughs> you know, I, I agree. I think being yourself is not selfish. You know, let me go back to Brian again. I, I think being yourself is not selfish. I really, really feel that, you know. And, um, you know, I, I want to say one more thing. I think you have something, because you were my Chinese teacher, and I think you have something that they can't teach you how to have. They would like to. And if they try to teach you how to have it, they ruin you, you know. And I, I know with my PhD program, it took me years to overcome it, years. And I, I don't know if it's a healthy way of educating just pe people just to educate their mind. The dream group is the opposite. This is a different kind of, we're educating our hearts or our spirits, not just our mind, and our mind too. But it's a different mind. It's a mind that's connected with the rest of us. Anyway, do you want to say anything that we're sharing, said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as Sharon mentioned, uh, the beautiful flowers in the garden, and it remind me the beautiful of the life. And one thing I feel sorry for myself, or sorry for my family, is that I I focus too much on my own thing, probably the study. But I just realized that it's not 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 just real. I, I know that's not good because uh, focus just one thing avoid me from doing some other beautiful things. So sometimes, um, no, not sometimes, I usually feel that my life is not balanced. And sometimes I want to be the perfect person, you know. <laughs> I really, <laughs> even though there's no A+, plus, but I want to be the A+. Plus. <laughs> 
but recently I cannot get that high level as I expect in my I expect my, myself to do that I feel I'm I fail but it is important to get a A plus or it be good to get a lot of B plus or B this is the thing I just recently I I, I thinking quite often uh, so well, you know, we well, you know an A plus is grading on a certain scale, uh -huh. but you may make an A plus on a different scale because they're not grading. You see what I mean? Uh -huh. And I think you already had the A plus before you went into it. You know, in my opinion, you know. And also, I think if you become who you are, you're the perfect person. I think that's true for all of us. There's no perfect person outside of who we are because we're different versions of the perfect person. Each one's a different. Like her cactus, for cactus, for cactus tried to be a rose, it would fail. You know what I mean? <laughs> It has to be a cactus. Anyway, okay? I'm going to turn this off now. Thank you.